Hi, everybody. It's me. Fucking Terrence. I'm not looking directly at the camera because I got it on front-facing mode and I'm not quite sure where the hell the camera is, so deal with it. And I've been meaning to do this for quite some time now because I'm a journalist and, uh, you know, I just don't have the time to type. Got a bunch of kids. Got a job. Don't have time to type. Don't have time to edit. Yada, yada. So, yeah. I am a, I'm a journalist. Bachelor in journalism. Big fan of MMA. And, uh, a lot of things bother me about the sport. The last thing that ticked me off was about uh, Diaz testing positive for pot. But I guess I'll make that another video if this one, you know, makes any leeway, any progress. But I am highly upset with uh, a guy you might be familiar with, John Jones. His decision to uh, basically sink. UFC 151 proves to me what I've known previously that he is a temperamental, immature, arrogant douchebag. And I have to say that there's some cowardice in there. Let's see. I'm going to go with cowardice on the, the fact that, uh, you know, the fact that he's huge. He's got more reach than the heavyweights. And, uh, you know, he could easily be a man and sack up and fight at 230, 240, as some heavyweights do. And, you know, according to all you guys that are uh, attached to his pubic hairs, he'd probably do swimmingly. But I think that someone, say, maybe Congo or somebody like that would, uh, would air him out pretty quick because his whole technique, throwing all that wacky goofy shit, you know, those little unorthodox moves that were cool at first, but now are just kind of like, I don't know, they look ineffective, but they're effective because he fights much smaller guys, so, he can throw some wackadoo shit, and if he misses, by the time the guy goes to counter him, he can already be, you know, far, far away, but, you know, this is not about his fighting style, because, you know, obviously he's a good fighter, I mean, he'd kick my ass, although I'm five foot four and a... 138 pounds when I wake up in the morning, but that has nothing to do with anything. He's a fucking tool bag. It's been proven time and time again. The first thing that, you know, he claimed to be Mr. Humble and all this shit, and, you know, everybody bought it. I even semi-bought it until the first instance I saw was the Rampage fight. After round one or two, they were, uh, you know, in a wrestling sort of, uh, they were down on the ground. Not sure exactly what position, but I know after the bell sounded, he, uh, like, kind of tossed Rampage in, like, a disrespectful manner, and, you know, unsportsmanlike, like bitch, bitch-like, but I understand that because him and Rampage were having war words, etc., etc., but, uh, the thing that really just made me hate his persona completely was the Machida fight, because the Oda Machida did not say anything, you know, mean, there was no war words with that, and, uh, several things happened, with the ending of the fight that I just didn't like. His, uh, his, his corner had to tell him to go check on Machida because you lose fans like that. You shouldn't have to check on a fucking guy that you just choked half to death. Second of all, uh, after the fight, when he was talking to Rogan, he said, oh, did you know he was out there? And John Jones was like, yes, you know, I, I knew he was out because I'm fucking gigantic and, like, picking the Sentinel and Marvel vs. Capcom big, long, lanky fucking fruit bag, and, uh, yeah, so you knew he was out, uh, anybody else see that fight, standing guillotine, knew he was out, so what do you do if you know your opponent's out, a lot of people look to the ref, they say, hey, you know, look at this guy, no, drop him on his fucking face, he could have broke his neck, what kind of, how, how, what kind of a sportsman are you, and then you have to be told by a cornerman to go check on him, <laughs> I tell you, I, I don't know, Maybe it's just me. Oh, no, it's not just me. Then he's got two whores in his, uh, you know, Bentley, who cool guy, driving drunk. Oh, yeah, you're the man, you know, way to lead an example for the kids. Wow, my nose looks really shiny. Yeah, way to lead an example for the kids. And now this. First, you're talking shit on Hendo, talking shit on an old man, a legend, who 
in my opinion, only have to land one counter right hand, which Evans landed on you, and Machida landed on you, and if Hendo landed it on you, you would have gone to fuck to sleep. But, you know, now he's injured. Dude is over 40 years old, and, you know, you're talking shit. And then, Chell Sonnen, who already basically called you out, and said he would take your belt. A man said that he would take your belt. He said he would... Where's my... Where's my, where's my he said he would take your belt from you. And... You were offered to fight him instead of Hendo. He was going to take the fight, you know, on very short notice. And you turned it down. Maybe my MMA history is not all that great. When has a champion ever in the history of fucking MMA turned down a bout? You fight, and I love how all these people say, Well, you know, whoever, you know, whoever, uh, you know, Silva puts in front of me next... You know, whoever Joe Silva puts in front of me, that's who I'll fight, because I, I love the UFC, and I just be dead, be, you know what I mean? It's a bunch of bullshit. And, you know, Chell Sonnen, he's, he's a damn good, he's a good fighter, you know, he's a great wrestling base, but he, he's similar to Hendo. And, uh, you know, I, I don't see how you could turn that down. How are you going to do that to people? You basically ruined the whole event. What about the fucking poor schmucks that paid thousands of dollars for floor seats, and now, you know, what are they going to do? You're fucking with the whole organization because you're an arrogant, self-absorbed prick. And, you know, I'm saying the truth. Ooh, am I going to get hate mail from fans? I don't know. And John Jones himself might even talk some shit on me. You know what? He can beat me up. I'll take the lawsuit. I need the fucking money. I'm like a third of your size. Come on, hit me. I dare you. What do you want me to do? I'm telling the truth. You're a dick. You're a dick? And, uh, you know, you'd hit a guy with glasses, because you already said you'd hit me, I heard it. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I really don't know what else to say. Who, who does that? What champion ever has just straight said, no, I'm not going to give this guy a shot at my belt? Especially a guy who played him out in the first place. I don't, I don't know what goes through his mind. I don't know if he's bipolar or what. In Twitter, he said that his best asset against Hendo was his mind. When Hendo's been fighting since he was fucking... Before he was a teenager. Your advantage is the fact that your arms are like a foot longer than his. And you're like a half a foot taller than him. And weigh-ins, you'd be around the same. But come fight time, you'd probably have about 30 pounds on him. That's your advantage. And youth. He's been in way deeper water than anything you could ever even fucking dream of. And, you know, I can't wait to the day till his body doesn't allow him to cut down and he has to go to heavyweight and, you know, we see what a fraud he is. Because, you know, I feel bad. Most of the, the, the light heavyweight division is kind of shallow at this point. There's a lot of, you know, good talent up and coming. Glover Teixeira, I like I like his, his standings. Even Gustafson, he's pretty big. But, you know... I'm not sure if he has quite what it takes to take out Jones, you know. No, 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 no offense, Gustafson, you're, you're, you're a good guy, but, you know, right now I think Glover Teixeira is the one to do it, you know, if it's not Hendo. But, uh, you know, I'm losing myself here. I, I just can't wait to, you know, for him to be exposed, you know, fighting-wise, because personality and lifestyle-wise, he's already exposed himself to be a, a dullard, a braggart, and, you know, a coward and a hypocrite talking all this humble mumbo jumbo shit you're not fucking humble you're a dick I'm a dick I know I know my kind and uh, I don't think anything at all that I just said is in any way false and if you have facts to back it up please write me a write me an angry letter or, or make me a cute little video like this I'm upset. I had my Hendo shirt ready, clinch gear Hendo shirt ready to, you know, watch, watch the event, and, uh, you know, fucked it up. I wouldn't have mind seeing Sonnen go in there. Who knows? Maybe he could have pulled the upset. We've never really seen Jones on his back like that, but, you know, I don't want to drag this video out too long, but John Jones, you're a fucking clown. Sorry. It's true.